check yourself, check yourself. You were here this time last year, you'd have heard me say that there will be an outbreak of swine flu next year. But nobody believed me. They all thought I was on my doom gene thing again. Apparently I've got a doom gene. I always see the worst thing. But then, when it, when it kicked in late May, they all went, oh right, Tony. And then I told them, you ain't seen nothing yet. You wait till October, meaning next on this October coming, right? And I still believe that, right? So, or rather, the bloke that gives me the information still believes it. Now the that China and India were going to be industrializing at the pace that they are. So, so the 30 year reserves that they expected is going to be half. They're now fearful. How can they run their industries? How can they run these corporate industrial giants without the resources? So they're now fearful about China's position because China is buying up everything. So now the West have decided to focus their attention on Africa because Africa has the largest untapped reserves of oil in the world. Whether it be from Chad, Sudan, Nigeria, Guinea, Algeria, Libya, untapped reserves. Plus, the oil in Africa is actually better than the oil of the Middle East. Why? Because it's lighter, it's cheaper to refine. Secondly, it's easier logistically to get oil from the coast of West Africa to the Europe than it is to the Middle East. So they're now focusing their attention in Africa. Remember, look at it. The food in the control of Guinea. Remember that? And they tried to overthrow a battle. What then if you don't realize that they asked? I was actually asked. I was asked to film the food. I knew about that to a year before. Hear me this. Hear this. And I don't give a fuck whether MI5 is listening. Because check this out. I was asked one year before that coup took to place to film the coup. I attended meetings for six months. And then at one of the last meetings, as it's about to happen, they told me that I have to be vetted by MI5. And I said, what the fuck is MI5 up to do? And I stepped away. So the British government, although they tried to pretend that they had fuck all the good at the they knew exactly what was going on in the The Spanish government knew. At that time, I did not know that Mark Thatcher or Jeffrey Archer were involved. Check it out. My friend, this is the reality. For those of you who know the film, Blood Diamond, I was going to make the original copy. Blood Diamond, I was the first to the R.U.S. in Congo. So recognize what I'm saying. Fuck them, I find. If they want to do they want to do I always say what I feel. Yes! You've heard the hundred statements. Will any of these motherfuckers come to be short on substance? They need to deliver. Barack Obama said, when I get into office, I'm going to close down Guantanamo Bay. And he got to office and he said, Guantanamo Bay will close in January. Barack Obama said, if I get into office, I'm going to withdraw the troops from Iraq. Go there. He's got into office and he has now given a date for the withdrawal of troops from Iraq. The problem is this. Barack Obama did or said nothing radical. Because whether you were, whether you were a Republican or a Democrat, you knew that the American public and the world were against Guantanamo. So Guantanamo Bay had to close down. Guantanamo Bay would have closed down whether it's a Republican or a Democrat. The troops in Iraq, that's what lost George Bush the election. If the Republicans were fortunate enough to have won the vote, they would have known that the war in Iraq is unpopular. They would have had to be considering the withdrawal of troops from Iraq. So therefore, Barack Obama did nothing radical. What did he do? He transferred troops from Iraq to Afghanistan. Well, what the fuck are American troops doing in Afghanistan?
Pakistan. He moved them from 124 to what did you assume was popular? Yes, it was popular. It was popular during your honeymoon. But, motherfucker, your honeymoon is over. And people are now beginning to ask the same questions that they should have been asking before. What is the purpose of American troops in Afghanistan? This week, the Americans dropped a bomb, killing 90 people, the majority of them civilians. What have these American motherfuckers said? We're going to have an investigation. And some of you think, Ooh, really? Think about it. They dropped bombs in a village in Pakistan two weeks earlier, and a week before that earlier, killing more civilians. What do they always tell you? We can't comment. We are investigating. But they never give you the fucking outcome of the investigations. They're always investigating. This week, an American troop was, was convicted and sentenced to five life terms for the rape of a 14-year-old Iraqi girl and the murder of her and her family. Could you imagine if Arab troops were stationed in Europe somewhere and these Arab troops searching for people who don't like their presence in the country just happened to drop a bomb on Shepherd's Bush Market on a Saturday, killing 50 European English people. Do you think the British would be supportive of the Arab presence? No! It is the arrogance of the West. I've heard them this week. No longer deluding themselves. They said Western forces. They're now using this language. Western forces in Afghanistan. What do you mean Western forces in Afghanistan?